All right, guys, we are back here for a, another LNT here on the Lessons of Real Estate Show. And I'm your host, Anthony Pinto, and I'm super excited here to talk to you about uh, something that's been kind of eating away at me for a little bit. And it wasn't something I really didn't recognize until a few days ago. And that's about taking care of the number one thing in your life. And for a lot of people, that's probably going to be different things. It's going to be, you know, their wife, it's going to be their family, it's going to be um, their job for a lot of people, it's going to be, you know, working out, um, maybe eating food, whatever that number one thing is for your life right now. Um, for me personally, and I think it should be for a lot of people, the number one thing in our life that we need to take care of is your health and your body. Um, and I think that a lot of people sacrifice the their health and their body to achieve these goals within their life, to spend more time with their family, to, uh, you know, make more money, to um, get more fit. Um, and obviously that does help your body. But, you know, we, we sacrifice a lot of these things towards our health to achieve another goal, to achieve a financial goal or to achieve a business goal, or to achieve a goal within our W-2 or our familiar goal, our relationship goal, um, or to, you know, to do this or to do that instead of really focusing on our health. And, and for me, I was very much about that until I kind of had this realization that I was going through these cycles of, of unhealthy sleep and unhealthy eating habits. And I would find that when I was at, when I was working and, and going, you know, during the normal days when I was working, you know, I'd work and then I'd come home and I would spend maybe a couple hours doing stuff. And then I would just pass out and I would get maybe six hours of sleep, maybe five hours of sleep and then do it all over again. And then it was just kind of the cycle for the three or four days that I would work in a row. And then I would, on my days off, I would just crash literally, you know, sleep eight, 10, 12 hours. One day we, we slept 14 hours at, you know, and at one time and, and it would just start again. You know, we would have these days where I would just get, you know, five, six hours of sleep doing work. And then it would go back to 12 to 14 hours of sleep on my off days. And it was just, it's just a really unhealthy cycle to go through. And the same thing with eating, you know, I would go and eat really well when I was at work. And then when I was at home, I would just kind of let everything go and eat, you know, maybe eat one or two meals a day, um, rather than the three or four that I was trying to eat, because I'm trying to gain weight and all that, but different story. But, you know, the one thing I wasn't really taking care of was my health. And so, you know, I think a lot of people get into that habit where they just for forego everything else besides them or they will do everything else and forego their own health and that's not the priority at all and you know it really made me think about uh what truly what my priorities are in life and obviously it's my family obviously it's you know taking care of the business it's these obligations in, that i have in life but you know, those things are, are still going to happen if I take care of my body. You know, those things are still going to happen if I get sleep. Those things are still going to happen if I eat right. And it was a huge realization to me that the number one priority for me in all decisions that I make should be my health, right? Um, it is going to, you know, you may be able to achieve a million dollars, but if you sacrifice your health for it, how useful is that million, gun, million dollars going to be for you? And you see, you may see this a lot in, the um and a lot of the richer people that you see in life right these millionaires and these billionaires who um may be super successful financially but then their health is at risk or you know their family doesn't talk to them or they're divorced you know five times or they have all these other issues going on you may have guys who have you know portray very successful life in social media you know physically fit all of this nice cars you know fill in the blank but they're missing something else in their life. And I think a lot of that is attributed to, um, you know, we're just so go, go, go all the time. And we don't, you know, really focus on the thing that is going to keep us moving in life. And at the end of the day, you know, your money, you can't take your money with you. You can't take your fancy cars. You know, you can't even take your family with you, you know, and the only thing that's going to stick with you guaranteed through the rest of your life is going to be your health and your body. So why not take care of it now? Why not build the healthy habits now? to make sure that you can survive to appreciate your time with your family and appreciate your, um, you know, your millionaire status once you get there and appreciate the money you're going to, you're going to get and appreciate the job that you love and all these things that we want to do in our lives. But the first and foremost priority has to be our health and our, and our, uh, and our body. So I'll get off the soapbox there, but the thing I want to teach about is something that I think is extremely important. And a lot of people don't necessarily take the time to do, and that's, um, setting aside 30 minutes a day of personal development. 
And, you know, a lot of people I know um, who do this, do it, you know, it, it can be something as simple as, as reading a book for 30 minutes, a nonfiction personal development type of book. Like, for example, What It Takes by Stephen Schwartzman. Good read if you haven't read it. Um, they listen to 30 minutes of a podcast. They listen to, you know, a YouTube video explaining something. They learn about something. They read, uh, you know, some, some studies or they, you know, listen to the news or something that they should just spend 30 minutes a day doing personal development. And, you know, it, it may not seem like a lot, but if you listen to the previous uh, episode, we talked about the atomic habit and incremental change is really what ends up defining us in the end. You know, it's not these momentous changes that, you know, we get a uh, 50% improvement here and, and here, but it's a 1% improvement every day. And the 30 minutes of personal development is definitely going to get you there. And I think just sticking to being committed to that on a daily basis is going to make huge changes to your life. So that is my, uh, my teach for this week is just set aside 30 minutes a day for personal development. I do mine in the morning and I combine it with reading and, uh, and journaling, but also uh, doing a little bit of studying on, uh, you know, the latest news that's going on within the world in terms of real estate, uh, things that may directly affect me, um, you know, things going on with the SEC and with, for example, what's going on with GameStop. That was a really interesting uh, phenomenon for me to see. And, and I'm constantly keeping myself updated on what type of precedent that's going to set. You know, little things like that, just personal setting aside the time for personal development uh, each day, whether that's in the morning, whether it's on your commute into work, whether that's during your lunchtime, maybe even part of your evening routine. But, you know, taking that time for 30 minutes of personal development is going to be huge for you. And just, you know, even if you can't set aside 30 minutes, just setting aside 15 or 20 minutes establishes a habit. And that habit is really what's going to make you um, the best that you can be. So with that, I hope you guys have an awesome week again, and we'll see you guys next Wednesday.